Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the AM session from 8.30 until 11 a.m. on Friday, February 2nd. So before I put lipstick on this chart, I want to have you look and see what you see. I will say this was news, so this was a big news candle. I don't remember offhand which one it was, but that is a news candle, okay? All right, so let me add a few more things on to help you look for some things. Let's open up the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro, and let's turn on previous day high and low. Let's turn on the Asia session, the London session, and the New York kill zone, and we'll start there. Okay, let that populate here. Now, obviously, I've done this all before. You've seen enough of my videos to either the full recap or play-by-play -play how I analyze these, so... Just trying to change it up a little bit. Let me know in the comments if you like this style better or not. Go to a different, a higher time frame. So if, even if I'm over here, if I, I have other charts, as I showed you. I have the 15 minute and the one hour on my screen as well, as well as SMT on the five minute for the Dow, NASDAQ, ES, and the dollar on another screen. So I'm looking at SMT over there. So I have a, a, several charts open. This is just the one minute chart. Uh, since most people like to trade the one minute, I'm showing you how you could have traded the one minute chart. Okay. So let me, let's go to the 15 minute chart here and price comes down here at 930 into this huge fair value gap, right? That huge fair value gap. I'm not going to, when you look at this on this chart here, let's just look at this on the 15 minute. The bodies are expecting consequent encroachment, okay? That tells you that it's filling in this and the wicks do the damage, but it doesn't want to go any lower. It's supporting price, right? Which is a good thing if you want to go high, if you want to aim higher, okay? But look at the bodies respecting price. Now, I'm going to move this back over to here for our um, for a minute because all this is going to be orange, right? If I had it like this, it's going to all show you all the orange. See that? All orange. So I'm going to move this right here. You know what's going on. You see it, right? So you know that's a 15-minute fair value gap that we're digging into. Constant encroachment is right here. We're, we're, we're just above that. Now we're looking for a market structure shift. So let me add in everything else here. And this is how I look what I saw, okay? So we have a market structure shift here, yes. Is that market on there? No. Could you have taken that trade? E sure, I, I wouldn't have. Um, price is coming up, you know, and we have, you know, our New York kill zone low is is right here. That's a low right now. It's not down to kill zone till right here. Uh, and then we get this low and this high up here. We have a previous day high up here. So what I like to do is when they came down here and into this thing as we're as we're coming up as we're coming up breaking structure right I'm now pulling the fib from the manipulation leg which is this right here okay if you go to the five minute okay well here if I was on the five minute I guess I'd go from here okay on the five minutes so now how does it look on the one minute all right so it's using these highs versus this high. So pretty close, right? So we'll use these highs for the five minute projection, okay? Higher time frame projection. Where are we going? Two to two and a half. It's above this consolidation. We're in a market maker. This is the sell, the sell side. This is a market maker buy model up here. Very ugly one, mind you. Um, it's very, actually very ugly. But nonetheless, there are three good trades in this setup. Uh, on this consolidation range bound choppiness that we we see here okay so we pull our standard deviations two to two and a half is what we're targeting that is above here we have previous day high in green we have new york kill zone high uh, we have london high which has already been swept here we took london high here and then we took london low so london high and low can come off here london high and low can come off Asia high and low can come off. Actually, let's take that off too. Showing you everything that you don't need on your chart here. Okay, at this point. 
you know, New York Midnight Open right here. Okay, as price comes up, we have a bunch of fair value gaps being becoming inversion fair value gaps. And yes, you'd probably enter off those on those. When I took this trade, I didn't. Okay, this is the first trade that I took right here. This is the second trade I took. Okay, did not get this third one. But here's how what I saw when I when price was coming up, I had this marked as my you know breaker block, and then you had an, uh, this inversion fair value gap, all kind of paired together, trying to get trying to get a, a unicorn entry type of feel, but it didn't really happen. Um, but I only used a 12 and a half stop and trading 12 and a half as my stop to 25. I know it's a very aggressive stop, so it's not very big. Um, I want to I'm going to end up changing it to 20 and 40 and going for that instead versus um, that so I can have a bigger stop. But in at this point, at this time, I was using 12 and a half, uh, aiming for 25 with one contract, 37 and a half for the second contract, uh, for two contracts. So this is, is the 37 right here, 37 and a half. Price came up, makes this a breaker block, comes down, hits it. Don't take it there because I know it can go into this inversion. It can go even down a lot further. So I'm trying to go as low as far as I can and try and cover as much as I can of this inversion. Uh, but this, I, but a constant encroachment of the breakers where I entered. Did get some wick in here. It was kind of dangerous, but I did get the full target here in a couple minutes, right? Price came up, doesn't take out this high, comes down. And you could have entered again, same place, at the consequent encroachment. Even a better entry here because you didn't have as much drawdown. Like it literally had probably like one tick. And then came back up. There's another 37 and a half handles. Didn't hit this high. We are having failure swings here, right? Price comes down into this fair value gap. Comes up, takes out these two highs. Leaves relatively equal highs right here, right? Relatively equal. They're not equal. They're relatively close, meaning they're really close highs, right? To me, these are relatively equal highs, pretty close. So they're going to be taking those out. Now, if I remove these two things right here, I want to show you why I took this, this entry. Now, granted, I have taken an entry off the inversion, okay? This is a 20 point and I aimed for 40. Uh, actually, I was aiming for these, this relatively equal highs here. But I'm going to sh show you why I like this entry. Uh, I need to take off these other short positions. Two, okay to go long high here what does price needs to do it needs to sweep some liquidity right yeah you have a swing high here here but you have a lot of liquidity underneath the swing high and a lot of liquidity underneath the swing high right and so it sweeps both of those and then immediately rejects love it so basically turtle soup to this entry I'll put this back on here so turtle soup to those Take my shot, entered, 20, aim for the aim for this relatively equal highs, get 60. Now, should we have aimed, left a runner on for the the New York kill zone? Yeah. That would have been another 20 points. Previous day high? Yep. There's 90 points. Hindsight. Could have gone for 20, two and a half deviations. Right there, right? Could have got 96 points. 100%. Right? So if you're trading, you know, Micros, always good to leave a runner. Minis, uh, it's, if, it depends your comfort, how comfortable you are. I like to get my, my money and get out. So if I'm not going to continue to watch it. So I was happy with my 65 points down here. That's perfectly fine for me. But those are your three trade setups during the AM session on Friday, February 2nd using the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro Indicator and ICT Concepts.